I wanted to write for my friends and for my family to feel stuff and to laugh. And in my experience, narratives about Latinas are centered in trauma. So for me, writing stories, I want all of my stories to be centered in joy. <laughs> <laughs> We've had enough drug stories, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think we can do other things now. Let us be fairies. Can we be fairies? Can I get something whimsical? Like, <laughs> jeez. Getting an email from Marvel when you've never received an email from Marvel before is almost like getting an email from that prince in another country that has like $43 million and a thousand like chickens to give you or something. And it's like, is this real? America Chavez is a portal punching, hard femme, badass Latina superhero who also likes girls, wears incredible sneakers, and throws down some really mean one-liners. What informs my writing, especially lately, is how I process being a queer person of color. The way that we structure America, I tell Marvel where I want the issue to go, and me writing is also me taking big swaths of paper, covering my apartment, and writing down all my ideas on the wall. I send a beat sheet. So it's like, pages one, two, America wakes up in her van. Pages three, four, America kicks cyborg butt. And then I just write. So we have to also decide, like, is America gonna stay in one place? Is Amani gonna have conflict? Like, if something's not working, I go back to my question, like, what does America want? Generally, I do write like how I speak. So I really have to be conscious of letting America be vulnerable, but in a way that is authentic to her and not in my way that has taken me 34 years to cultivate. And it is so difficult to be vulnerable and soft and gentle when you're experiencing multiple layers of oppression. Dear Juliet, repeat after me, you are a bruja, you are a warrior, you are a feminist, you are a beautiful brown babe. Juliet takes a breath, put my work out into the world, but it was very much like an indie darling kind of thing. There you go, thank you so much. Nice to meet you. America Chavez, it's at this level, this mainstream level that my work has never been a part of. And part of me is like, this is a matter of life or death. Young Latinas have the highest rates of suicide. LGBTQ youth, they make up 40% of the homeless population. Visibility and representation is life or death. To see America Chavez or Juliet Milagros Palante in a book or in a, in a comic, in a story, on television, on screen, what it says to young Latinas is you matter, you exist, you're important, you can be anything. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.